The second eruption of the Honga Tonga volcano shocked the world. The l- images that you can see now are from the uh, yesterday, and as you can see, they are taken from the orbit. You can see the eruption of the Honga Tonga volcano, which is in the Pacific Ocean, over a hot spot, has now created a huge ash cloud. This ash cloud and the shock wave, because of it, has traveled all the way across the world, concentrating on the uh, pressure wave of it on, on the North Africa, Africa, uh, around the, you know, Southern Europe, those areas. Uh, remember a few months ago, we had this Hongo Tongo again erupted, caused a lot of damage to the locals, photosynthesis stopped. And this is now is going to happen. This is a pyroclastic eruption where the magma is in touch with the water from the ocean and that causes the explosion because of the expansion of the water vapor. A huge explosion which creates, spreads a lot of dust in the atmosphere. You can see a very strange colorful sunset recently. This is all the ash from these volcanoes around that area. Pacific Ocean is in uh, is in shock all the time. Rima fire or ring of fire, as you know it, is called tsunami. Almost the media have given up on reporting this anymore. <coughs> They're just interested in the white blue eyes of the Ukrainians. Home Reef volcano grew to sixteen hectares. Uh, this is the volcano in the Honga uh, Tonga area. Uh, in the Pacific Ocean, where the Pacific Plate is undergoing into the well, New Zealand Plate, uh, a kind of subduction. It creates these uh, volcanoes, as you can see here, is a lagoon at the moment, but then it developed to a bigger uh, area, filled up the lagoon actually, it became an island. It's now six uh, hectares in size. Uh, the development of it was interesting to watch it from the space. There is, unfortunately, it is impossible to go there. There is no internet. It's just the middle of the ocean. And uh, Pacific is a big area. So uh, the only access we have is through the space. As you can see, it's developing there. Also, the people of Honga Tonga, they don't have the actual you know, means to go there. They already suffered from the big ash from the Honga Tonga eruption. This is how it is, uh, may have started. This is a Gavachi volcano in the... Solomon Islands. This is the way volcano emerges from the uh, under the water and gradually builds itself until it can be emerging from the within and become an island. It's impossible, but they do it. That's the way we have a, our uh, land, our continents formed during the forming stages of the solar system. I will keep you up to date about this volcano. It's interesting to see how it will develop. It may disappear or it may grow bigger. Who knows? The home reef is now 210 uh, meters in diameter and in over the past two days has grown 50 meters in size. Home reef volcano has emerged from the ocean. This is in the Tonga Islands. This is a chain of island on a hot spot. And we had Honga Tonga erupted uh, just a few months ago. And now the home uh, reef is now doing this. This is a satellite images. Since just a few days ago, it has started to emerge. Hongo Tongo when erupted, it created the biggest volcanic eruption we have seen ever in the history of the contemporary, you know, uh, modern era. And that was a huge bang in the atmosphere. It was observed from this space. We could see it from with our satellites. And more than that, the shock waves of this volcano were interesting. It created air pressure waves which passing through the layers of the atmosphere, dispersing ash and traveling all across the continents and oceans, going all around the earth several times, not just once, going back again to the area of the Honga Tonga and now again focusing on the North Africa, again going going back. It was happened several times. Our, um, our air pressure monitoring devices picked this actually. That is very interesting. Home reef, if it erupts, it will create something like that. It has access to the ocean water and can explode like that in the similar same way. Shock waves of Hongo Tonga volcano is felt around the world. Hongo Tonga was a volcano which was uh, erupted, second time also erupted again. And there is another volcano north of it which is going to erupt uh, any moment. Uh, the shockwaves traveled around the world, as you could see. This, this was the 
uh, most uh, powerful explosion, uh, volcanic explosion in the 21st century. The waves, as you can see in this video, traveled all over the world. You can see the wave in this one. Now we have simulated it. As you can see, it started in the Hongo Tonga. Then after several hours or yeah, 17 hours reached Africa, came back another hour, another time. Uh, in the hours, 36 hour, it came back to Hongo Tonga. 54 hour again reached uh, Africa in the Sahara. And that was continuing, continuing going back and forth reflection of the uh, waves back to the original source. This was huge. We may have seen the biggest ever eruption from space in the Hunga Tonga uh, volcanic eruption. This was visible easily from the space. Our uh, Joe, uh, Joe Synchron uh, satellites actually picked up this first and then we get the news from the local area that uh, we had a huge uh, explosion of volcanic origin. As you can see, this is completely visible from this space. This has released huge amount of the dust into, into the atmosphere, equal to m blowing up of many, many, many nuclear uh, bombs. Uh, and this volcanic eruption will cause a lot of reddening in the atmosphere, releasing dust and ash into the air. We may breathe it actually, or we may eat it. Hongo Tonga comes to our body actually in that way. Sunsets will be red, I predict, in the southern hemisphere and probably in the northern hemisphere. Brace yourself for that. Tonga eruption has released a lot of sulfur dioxide gas into the air. We saw the ash cloud from the space station, as you can see here, huge, massive. And then we saw that the huge cloud of the sulfur dioxide, which is a kind of volatile released by volcanoes, is uh, lurking around in the South Pacific and then moving toward uh, other regions in the world. And this may cause uh, acid rain eventually. Uh, already we have a lot of ash spread across the world. We will see red sunsets uh, in the southern hemisphere. Many images show, satellite images, the, uh, the amount of the ash already deposited in the Tonga. As you can see, the many houses are covered with the ash. They collected rainwater for drinking, so they have a, uh, a problem with the drinking water. They don't have any anything. The uh, bottled water should be imported for them. And this uh, acid rain will cause more problem in the coming days and months. Uh, if it spreads and become a global issue, we will see more acid rains across the world. This can cause also damage to the marine life, to the shelly creatures, all those uh, uh, limestone and calcite uh, places. Last year's Tonga volcanic eruption produced the fastest underwater flows ever recorded, scientists say. Huge volumes of rock, ash and mud were clocked moving across the ocean floor at speeds of up to 122 km per hour these density currents as they're known, snapped long sections of telecommunications cabling, cutting the Pacific Kingdom's link to the global internet. They also smothered and killed all sea life in their path. It's another example of the prodigious scale of the 15th of January eruption. The underwater volcano called Hunga Tonga Hunga Hapai is already in the record books for the height of its eruption plume, which rose halfway to space, 58 kilometers, producing the biggest atmospheric disturbance in instrumented history, triggering the most intense lightning storm, 2,600 flashes per minute. Home Reef Volcano in Tonga has created a new island. The latest images from the uh, planet's uh, satellite shows this. When you're looking at these images, remember you're dealing with the biggest uh, uh, ocean in, on the planet Earth. And you can see uh, there is a subduction in this area. And uh, this is the island which is now formed. From the space you can see even the heat rising from there. This is the latest image as you can see. Uh, this is the island and a lagoon created there and from that crater smoke is rising the water vapor and you can see even lava flowing into there. This is the biggest um, ocean on the earth, Pacific Ocean and this volcano is there. Tung Honga Tonga created these shock waves which passed through the earth several times 
to the Earth atmosphere and it created a lot of ash clouds. This is our new island. Tofua Tonga volcano, 100 kilometers away from the Tonga volcano, is now getting active. This uh, is the latest images that we have from the space. It shows the uh, Tonga and the Tofua Tonga, as you can see these two little dots from the Earth's orbit. You can see that the Tofua Tonga is active. This is a hot plate that the uh, mantle of the Earth is stationary and the plate is moving. This plate is moving. It's a hot spot. I should say. Hot spot is moving uh, as the plate moves. So Tonga was active. Now uh, Tofu Tonga will be active. The next stage of activity is coming. Or they can be at the same time active if they are close enough. 100 kilometer is not very big distance. And as you can see from this space, we see the effect of this. Tofu Tonga is gradually uh, awakening. Uh, the shock effect from the Honga Tonga actually was visible and it passed through and came to Africa actually. You could see the shockwave concentration as an antidote of that. It came to the other side of the planet Earth. This volcano is important.